All right, making whips that are braided backwards. This is a side of weaver work chap leather. Because there's not a hind leg on this side, I'm gonna start down here at the bottom and mark my line. It comes up around the butt of the cow and then up the back toward the neck. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start down at this end with my wing dividers about half an inch apart and your left tip hangs off the edge of the leather and as you walk it backwards occasionally you just let it out a little wider and a little wider and a little wider so half inch at the tip and up to about two inches you can go even to two and a half inches at the widest end once it's marked, we can just work at the wide end with a blade, cutting backwards, um, following the line, and uh, cut the first piece. So I cut two whip bodies, they're laying on the floor. They were from the neck down to the butt of the hide. We're looking at this hide, its neck is on the left, butt is on the right, hanging off the table. For the core of the whip, we're gonna cut from, from the belly along here because um, that'll create some substance for our core, but it's not the best leather. It's a little bit spongy and stretchy and That'll be great. So I'm gonna start at this end, um, skinny as a point, and bring it around here. And what I'm going for is half to two thirds the length of my whip bodies, and um, half to two thirds the width at the widest end. So I can check the width and um, cut it in half. Okay, here is one whip and one core next to each other. The uh, core is half to two-thirds as wide as the widest part of the whip body and it's approximately half as long. Starting from the skinny end, this is where the whip popper is going to be tied. At least 20 inches back, you carefully cut a slit that divides the whip body in half. Okay, so with the slit, you can either on a cutting board very carefully cut backwards, dividing it exactly in half, or um, I find it's faster and somewhat easier to pull the blade through and just walk backwards until you've cut all the way to the very end, dividing it exactly in half. And then I have my two pieces and I put a slit in each one of those so this will become my four strands same principle get my knife into that slit it wasn't cut all the way through are you making a video? I am like that and now once again very carefully I can walk backwards guiding the strap with my left hand and pulling the blade with my right hand. So I'm measuring out my four strands. One third of the length down is where they'll be wide enough to divide these four into eight. So I cut slits at the one third length point 
and I will divide these four strands into eight strands. Time to build the core. Taking the wide end of the core, I've trapped it underneath my white lamp here. I'm twisting it to the right, and I'm going to use black colored masking tape, and I'll pass the masking tape to the left, so the tape will be twisted in the opposite direction of how I'm twisting my core. And as long as I twist this leather up, keep it twisted nice and tight, then wrapping my masking tape around with overlapping passes is going to be enough to hold it all into place. A twisted core is the fastest way to make a core. You can also braid one of four strands cut in the same manner of the whip body, but that just takes longer. Here I am wrapping it a little further down and eventually I'll get to the tip of the leather and end my tape wrapping job. You can leave a little bit of tape sticking out beyond uh, the tip of the leather and that'll kind of give you a handle to hold on to. So as soon as I'm done wrapping this, I'm going to roll everything on the table to get the tape to stick really well to the leather and to press everything down so that it's nice and rounded and has a good taper from one end to the other. Okay, you can roll it under your hands, you can use a board. Just pressing the tape against the leather. Might as well use my cutting mat to roll it. And when I'm satisfied with how this tape looks, I just set my core aside. Here's how the whip body looks. So here's the whip cut and all laid out, starting at the skinny end and going along here it transitions from four and eight. This whip's going to have a braided core, so I braided it and, and taped it, but I just want you to see that since the whip shrinks up by about 30%, I am planning, based on the length of the core, to add it to the whip about um, nine inches before it goes into eight strands. So when I do the video on braiding, this is the point at which I'm gonna add my core.